Apparently some of you liked the spinny whip pan action I did in last vid, so here's some more. Alright, back on track. I like Canon. I like vlogging, but I can't seem to find the right Canon to vlog with. Tried a C300 Mark II, created a hemorrhoid, tried to hold that in one hand for a whole day. 1DX2, files unnecessarily large. 5D4, um, no. Which brings me to the EOS M6. This was made for vloggers. Kind of like the M5, which had the tilty flippy screen, but it flipped downwards. So if you have it on a tripod or on a Joby or whatever, you can't see the bloody screen. This seems to be the remedy. Boom. But let me put mic on it first. Mic goes on nicely, but then the screen doesn't flip so nicely anymore. And it doesn't shoot 4K. But that's okay, because I've got three cameras that do. And what better activity to be doing while juggling three cameras than sitting on a French bread floating on some water? Here we go. The GH5 is the latest and perhaps the greatest prospect. How does it compare to the EM1 II and A6500 though? So yeah, anyway, I've got the GH5 in my hands right now. Does it autofocus well? Probably doesn't matter because I've got 7 to 14 on it. Everything is in focus. The ideal vlogging lens is an ultra wide. Couple this with a tiny sensor, it equals deep depth of field. Not much is out of focus anyway. But FYI, AF speed in a window lit room is reasonable. The problem is when you think it has focus, it keeps hunting around like it's got ADHD. Another kick in the penis for the GH5 is that the M12 focuses quicker, but the A6500 does a 1 2 in the gonads by outperforming both in terms of speed and general non ADHD ness. Still, at least the GH5 shoots fantastic looking video. Panasonic pretty much got it nailed with the GH5. 4K, 10 bit. You've got 4K, 50p as well. You can pay to have a vlog option, which has nothing to do with vlogging. It's a flat picture profile, so you can grade it to however you want. Well, GH5 has got more picture profile options. It's got vlog, which you have to pay for, but you've got Cine like DNV. The Olympus doesn't have all those fancy picture profiles. It does have a flippy screen that has problems flipping when you have that mic plugged in, though. You've tried this EM1 out, haven't you? I have tried it out. What do you think? I, it, it was like it was like tea without the tea bag. I mean, it was functional. Back. You guys all right? Yeah, all right. Hi. You can say hello to the internet. Hi, internet. I actually really like the look of the Olympus's video straight out of camera. The colours look great. You can use the footage just like that. Saves having to grade, colour correct, whatever. Subscribe to his channel. Yeah. <laughs> The Olympus's 4K is decent, although it's not on the same level as the GH5 really. But what about the vids from the A6500? We used A6500 when we were in the church. Do you remember that? Historic church. Would you like to tell a story about that, Paul? So, yeah, you came here on Sunday, right? Okay, this is what happened. It looked cool and it was low light. The sun was coming in through all these windows. But then all of a sudden, I just see it. And the door opened, and this, this guy just looks at me and he goes, I hear it, pray. The next sound I heard, literally, was just some cheap cotton slacks hitting this uh, archaic flooring. He's without a hair. Shaved his chest, he's shaved his head. Kind of like the opposite of you then. Exactly. And he was wearing this tiny little black thong. <laughs> so. And you've still got the photo as evidence. Let's place it right here. Ding. <laughs> But the weird bit was he'd come on his bike. In what sense? <laughs> I think that's enough of that story. That's probably that's a great story. Uh, anyway, back to cameras. <laughs> <laughs> the rather diminutive yet formidable Sony A6500 is a camera that I've been using for some time. So the A6500 has got the best auto focusing system. What a, oh, what a boob. All right, it's got the best autofocusing system. Good continuous autofocus. It shoots some super crispy 4K footage. I mean, we're talking extra crispy recipe here, but there's a huge ass butt here. The big pain in the ass with the Sony is that there's no tilty flippy screen, so I can't actually see what I'm framing. It's just all a guess. No flippy flappy screen. No flaps. 
unbelievable. Mostly, it's not a huge problem. If you like to learn English really well, I'd recommend not to come to this place. Because you'll just learn a load of broken English. But when you start introducing other elements into the frame, like something in the background or a second subject, framing becomes a bit more challenging, even worse with a third element. Without the screen, you might find that the framing is a bit of a shambles. You can't see if it's actually recording anything, oh, and so you can't no check the sound. The yeah, there's no, there's nothing. The, the biggest problem is that you can't check the battery life without the flippy screen, and that is a big problem with the Sony's battery life. The battery in the Sony is smaller than the ones in Olympus and Panasonic. When you shoot 4K you'll be changing batteries often, but another annoyance is rolling shutter. Not always a problem, but when you have some handheld moving shots, you start to see the wobbles. They all have in-body stabilisation, but the Olympus and Panasonic are smoothest for walkie vloggy shots. I'm pretty sure the GH5 would work well on the end of any vlogging stick thing. Although it seems like the GH5 is a clear winner, there's something for everyone. The GH5 packs an awful lot of goodness into a reasonably priced body, at the expense of good AF. For the Olympus, it's all about those nice colours straight out of camera. And the Sony has the biggest sensor, top video quality and focus, but no flippy screen. Just pick the one that works best for you. Popped in for a spot of tea with Mother. She lives on the lake, on okay. the river. Can I have a little whiz? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, right, let's decorate your toilet. It's quite obvious where this is going. Well, the toilet, obviously. <laughs> it's not at all embarrassing. What? <laughs> wow. Mama, Spiderman, Paul Spiderman. <laughs> and some armbands. But that's probably the crown in gold, isn't it? Shall I recreate it? No! Oh, no! <laughs> there you go. No! So it seems like the GH5 is my next vlogging camera. That is, unless Canon has a 4K 60 Mark II with flippy screen coming out really soon. Mm -hmm.